Hey YouTube Pipe Community, OGC Piper here. Just thought I'd share a little interesting scenario that I faced today. It actually just not even a scenario. It actually happened. <laughs> of course, uh, anytime I talk about my stuff here at work, I omit names and critical information. But my uh, body cam died during the during the stop, and I'm letting it charge for a little while, so I had a little bit of downtime to enjoy a pipe while I let that charge a bit and what I'm what I have today is actually a blend that I have in my day runner pouch that I have forgotten now what it was but it's pretty good enjoying that in a uh, Italian briar pouch pipe I know lighting is not really good right now but it is what it is and that 345 my time I am pairing that with a monster but uh had an interesting stop. I'm just sitting out monitoring uh, one of the FM roads, uh, monitoring speed and everything. Catch this car, 55 mile per hour zone, flying down the road. And I go to get my LiDAR up and everything, go to try to get some uh, speed on it. And it's not giving me a, a return right away. Uh, it must have been some obstruction and everything. Like that, but I can tell this car's going really fast. So by the time I do get speed, he, the car doesn't slow down, and the the reduced speed was 81 in a 55. And uh, so I go to initiate a stop with this vehicle. Four four people in this car, brand new car. They just bought it today. So I go to, as soon as I go as soon as I walk up before I even get up to the car, I can tell that there are four people in the car and four fresh cigarettes lit, which is the number one identifier of warrants. So <laughs> I go talk to the driver. I dig into him a little bit. Of course, everyone in the car is trying to explain what was going on and all that. And I kindly let him know I didn't need to speak with anybody but the driver. So I was talking to him for a little bit. Smelled a, you know, faint smell of marijuana. And in, in this state, it's still, you know, illegal. So I go run his information and everything, come back to the vehicle. Of course, while I'm in there running and I see a cigarette butt go flying out the window. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to talk to him about that too. While I'm, you know, while I'm digging into him, I'm going to ask him about why he littered in my town. So <laughs> I uh, so I go up there and and uh, ask him to step out of the car. Uh, of course, I accost him of his littering. He picks it up later. But go talk to him uh, over by my vehicle and uh, let him know. He did tell me, yeah, I got, I got some warrants, you know, out of this other town. So he did, in fact, have warrants. So I pulled him out, talked to him, said, yeah, you got warrants. And I said... Uh, is there anything illegal in this car I need to know about? And he goes, oh, no, no, no. I goes, okay. Uh, I said, okay. Well, I, I smell a little bit of marijuana. I said, anybody else in that car got anything you know about? He goes, oh, no. No, it was me. I smoked weed earlier. I, I said, okay. So I'm not going to find anything in there. He goes, because I got PC to search it right now. And the people that are in it. He goes, oh, no, no. Uh, I just had some in there earlier. So I said, you did have some in there earlier, which means I might find some. So I'm giving him a chance to be honest. I like to do that. It, goes, it usually goes better when they're honest with me. And uh, he said, no, uh, if you find anything, maybe just a little bit of shake down in the, in the car. I said, okay. I'll go get them out. I've got four people in the car. i got to clear them out first. So I start pulling, pull them out one at a time. Tell them, you know, grab their ID, IDs. And, uh, and I asked them, each one of them, I said, Is anything in that car illegal I need to know about because I'm about to search it. He goes, oh, no, no. And, you know, ask them about their... their uh, license to make sure everything's clear on it and everything goes oh yeah I might well I might have this warrant so already we're uh, two for two on the warrants and everything like that and as I get them out there singing like canaries telling me everything they've ever done or everything they ever thought about doing so I'm like okay well I get them all situated in the car my partner comes and we use his car as well it's starting to get a little bit chilly so we put them in the car for safety reasons also uh, just so uh, while we're conducting our search and our business, they're not out on the roadway. So go in there, clean car, don't find anything. Come back and man, you know they, they're they're still just going on and on about uh, you know trying to be honest about everything they've got. Uh, I run all of them, every single one, just like I had, had suspected. Every single one of them had warrants, and uh, so I'm like, okay, well, uh, they were all they were all warrants that I have the discretion to either confirm on or not confirm on 
they were being, you know, honest about everything. They had been doing a little bit of drinking, but, you know, not the driver. Um, obviously, he smoked weed at some point or, or another, but he was driving okay. I couldn't tell that he was under the influence. But, and I told them all, you know, you know, honestly goes along a long way with me. And then when I searched the car, didn't find anything, you know, everything was cool. Came back and, and all that. And uh, probably one of the better uh, situations I've been in with searches and all that. You know, you definitely have some things that were going on. Uh, some of them, you know, they had they had definitely been partying quite a bit, and uh, man, we're just singing like canaries. And I, I love it when they do that because you know that kind of you know puts me at a state of mind where I'm like, okay, you know, I feel like I I, I can know what to expect when I come into uh, the situation when I'm looking in the car, you know, no weapons, nothing like that in there. So I get them all out and everything. Uh, let them know, each know, hey, you got warrants. You're gonna need to get that taken care of. And uh, so get them all uh, situated, and, and they're all like, "Oh, this is so good! Y'all are y'all are so good!" Uh, you know, I, you know, they were talking about this other time. It goes, "If I had been there, man, I know I know how they are. I know how they are." And uh, so, and I and I told them, I said, "You know, just so you know, um, you know, you were honest with me about everything. You know, uh, so this could have gone, you know, really bad. You know, every one of you could have been." Uh, arrested for what they had you know what they had on their record you know what they the warrants that they had so man they were so relieved and, and cu a couple of them well they were pretty scared i can tell they hadn't really been in much trouble they just had some warrants made some bad decisions and, or failed to pay some tickets or whatever so you know got them back in the car and everything and they were you know in this climate especially with law enforcement you know every time that you you have something go like go like that and you have them talking about how much they enjoyed their experience you know just kind of put you in a good place good frame of mind and everything so uh i just thought i'd share that that story me and my partner we, we had a good time you know with them you know they were they were cutting up and everything and you know we we had a good time it, it all wound up i dug into them at first and everything like that i still kind of dug into them a little bit no reason to go that fast you know? but uh i just wanted to share that little uh, fun anecdote and, uh, i guess the moral of the whole story is honesty and integrity get you a long way you know not just with the police but in life in general so thought i'd throw that out there uh otc piper wishing everybody all the best good times with more pipe